Why? Yeah. Why? Hello, hello, everyone. Howdy. And welcome back to Interia. Interia. Here we are. I think that's the name. It's how you read it. That would make sense to me. Sure. So, Josh. Yeah. I have a, I have a question for you. Yeah. So, I heard you make a phone call today, and mm-hmm. I know that was kind of an outlier. Yeah. Um, and I've never had a phone conversation with you. Mm-hmm. So, what do you like on the phone? Like, when you talk to someone? Which, I I mean, I've only heard you on the outside, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I've heard you make a phone call with Ryan. Yeah. Or you just talk and then hang up. Yeah. Is that your typical phone etiquette? Uh, For people I, that you I know. I say what I... Oh, for people I know? For people that you I know. I call people I know. I'm going to see <laughs> them. Why would I have to call them? In case you need information? I can just text them. And that would be faster. I suppose. <laughs> Also, if I need information, it's faster for me to look something up than it is to ask someone. Mm, mm. Okay. Because everyone else is too slow for what I need them to be. So that's why I don't use it. <laughs> so people have to pick up the pace. Exactly. Okay. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, but if I'm like calling like a place cordial enough okay. to speak directly, I'm looking for this. Can so- you help me or not? Yes, we will continue this. So no, I'm hanging up. Do you so you talk on the phone like a top? Is my is my <laughs> overall question. Is that top behavior or is that just <laughs> being rude? Is, is this just because you you heard how I talked to Ryan on the phone? I don't remember how the thought came up to me. Because I mean, I talk on the phone quite a bit during the day just no. because I have to. Mm-hmm. Um, but like for me, when I talk to people on the phone, I'm definitely like a like they typically get the last word and stuff mm-hmm. like that and and i flub flub all my words especially when we talk at the same time and i'm like oh i'm sorry excuse me blah 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 mm-hmm. so i didn't know if i was just polite or if that was bottom behavior that's just you i don't know what that means the bottom <laughs> i don't think that's true everyone in the <laughs> comments please tell me whether or oh not you God. think darian is a bottom or not no don't tell me that I'm pretty sure he is. I would rather not know, actually. I'll just, I'm gonna live in my space. No. I'm just gonna, I just wanna vibe no. in my space. Don't, don't. It's fine. Hi, Nils. Nils, no. do you think no. Darian is a bottom? Not sexually, socially. No, I understand what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. More of a switch, I'd say. Thank you. Mm. See? I've never Confirmed. seen him take control of, like, legitimately take control of any social situation. Well. He's always the one waiting. <laughs> well, I don't need. The, I take control when it calls for it. I take control Which is, when it calls for like, When the situation calls for it. How many it. years has it been? <laughs> when, when have we been in a situation that it would call for me to take the top lead position never because you're too cowardly to do so (laughs) it's just not necessary (laughs) i step up when it's needed Mm. (laughs) okay this is a fun argument this is horrendous (laughs) i don't know it's been what 17 years darian (sighs) has it been 17 years josh i think so Oh. oh my god yeah. Uh, I didn't get to do my can crack. I already poured my beer into a glass. I'm yeah, getting buzzed for this recording. Are you sure you want that? Mm, it's okay. It's just a Guinness. It's not going to get me buzzed. Oh, yeah, sure it won't. <laughs> You're a lightweight. It's fine. I'm, s- I'm vaguely aware of a slightly panting nephew behind me a following, following me onto the beach. I suppose. Uh, I suppose now you realize how foolish that was. I crack an eye open at Nefidu, just enjoying all of the feelings my body is sending me. Foolish. I feel great. Then I guess you're just a fool, then. Uh, the, ang- the anger in uh, Nefidu's tone catches me by surprise. I prop myself up on my elbow, looking at him carefully. You alright? I am fine. You, on the other hand, were seconds from drowning. Uh, the odd spontaneous feeling I've uh, I'd been under this spell of suddenly dissipates. 
It's quiet for a few seconds, and Nefidu goes about shaking off and grooming his fur. Hey, listen, it's been a while since I've uh, done a lot of swimming. I didn't, I didn't know I was so out of practice. I'll be more careful next time. Yeah, Josh forgot his long HDMI cable, so we had to make do... I didn't know where. I didn't go look. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to go traipsing through your things. <laughs> good, good. Surely. I haven't felt these uh, these feelings from Nefidu since all of those months back when I'd stumbled in on him in his uh, room. Ooh. Jesus. Exciting. We'll use that in a well, minute. Well, they're, they're, it's not all one chord. No. Okay. It's a bunch of them. I've got like Good, though, good, though. Various lengths. They all look... Well, this one looks short, but all of them look roughly... roughly straighten them out. <laughs> Let's see. And rambling on about his family. He hardly ever uh, lets things uh, get to him, so when he does, it's awkward. <laughs> so I lay quietly on the sand, wondering if he'll explain this weird shift in mood. As always, uh, practice... Uh, patience pays off, Nefidu. Imagine if... Nefidu begins squatting... Squatting? Squatting. Squatting. Uh, next to me in a way that uh, manages to be graceful, especially compared to me splayed out and covered in the sand. After everything you and your wolf have been through, you just so happened to drown in the lake because you were careless. Oh. Oh, the can. Oh, no. Good thing it's an empty can. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> is what it is. I think about that and about how and how that would bring this grand complex plan to a screeching halt for the parents, and it makes me laugh. That's the good end. <laughs> you fail your swim checks and Marco dies. Right? End of end of story. Look, I still love the Marco dead ending. In, it's really in good, Astra. isn't it? Because then the parents are like, eh, we'll get another one. <laughs> See ya. We'll get another one. An improved one named Scipioi. Sk well, Scipioi is not a human, though. We've upgraded. It's true, but the point of Marco is to integrate the humans. You can't use a wolf boy to integrate the humans. Oh, yeah, you can. Or what if they turned Scipio into a human oh. through magical parent powers? <laughs> I don't know. If Would a, it be cute? If, if a werewolf descended from a spaceship and was like, hey, want to join like the, the big world order? Pretty sure humans would be like, yo, uh, lit, there's wolf men. Uh, I, well, well, I maybe if like if they were con like the fact that they're concretely real might bring out all the secret furries that have been like. <laughs> I've been secretly hoping for this all along. I can finally let my flag fly. Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. President, you want to fuck these wolfmen? Absolutely, I do. You think Obama's into cat girls? Obama's not the president, Josh. <laughs> In my heart, he is. <laughs> In my heart, he never stopped. <laughs> Look, but that was the last marketable president we've had. It's kind of true. Well, <laughs> Trump was marketable to a very specific group. No, he's of, not. To a specific group of people. No, he's not marketable. I'm talking about mm. as if like, he's like a product. Because mm. that's what the president is. Oh, that's true. They're a marketable mascot. Yeah, America's mascot. Yeah. How depressing. So, Obama was the last marketable mascot America mm. had. Mm. That's how I view this. <laughs> Fair. Because <laughs> it doesn't feel like we have a president currently. It kind of does. There's no mascot. There's no, like, toys you can sell. There's no. no, like... We can't put... We didn't Pokemon go to the polls. No. So we had no no marketability to that, man. It's, it's so sad. It's, it's a, so sad. Quite unfortunate, but... All I know is that he's a dirty tournament player. And Nefidu narrows his eyes at me. I'm sorry, it's just... Uh, you're right about... Uh, that would be ridiculous. And considering your brush with death not so long ago, I would think you'd cherish life just a bit more. Never. This is all starting to feel a bit too much. All right, all right, Nefidio, I'm sorry. You should probably apologize to Amicus, Never. not me. Never. <laughs> Never. I'm starting to think this is more of a personal issue on Nefidio's part, for whatever reason, and I just want to move on. What was it... Wait. 
What was it that you wanted to talk to me about? And Efidu flinch flicks his ears, uh, but seems to let go of his weird little issue for now. Well, it relates a bit to what we were just speaking of. I sigh loudly, but Nefidu talks over it. In the sense that I feel that Amicus is probably probably portraying this as a grand adventure for all of us, instead of taking it a bit more seriously. To the point that I think he's forgetting how dangerous these things can be. Yeah, uh, how so? Well, have you heard of the growing separatist movement in some of the major cities? Yeah, General Grievous is pretty lit. Yeah, you have what? What's his name? Fucking Viceroy Gunray? Is that his name? Which one was he? Oh, he the was Viceroy, uh... the the guy who talked like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was all right. I mean, he's there. He's he's like the I think he's like the leader of the separatist movement. Something like that. Which is like why he his name comes up a lot more. Which is why I remembered it. <laughs> is that it comes up because he's the leader of the separatists. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Well technically like Darth Sidious is, but, yeah. you know, he's the secret one. Mm-hmm. He's the secret leader. Dooku's kind of cool. Dooku's great. I love Dooku. He's great. I like when you get to see him in pajamas in Clone Wars. <laughs> 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 Which is a thing that happened, and I just, you know, that just lives rent-free in my brain. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, Dooku's cool in that, like, I wish we got more of him in the movies. Because we you only... have a you have two TV series with him. Well, like, because in in Clone Wars he was he was already bad in Clone Wars. He was already yeah. a Sith Lord. In um, like around the time of the first movie, he hadn't um defected over to the dark side at that point. No, he already was. I don't think so. I think he yeah. was. Dooku was already. Dooku was still um. Had he had he already been gone over to the dark side by um, Phantom Menace? I don't know, it, it, whatever, it's Star Wars, it's a bad franchise. <laughs> <laughs> I think back. I think so. Uh, the radicals that wants that want to separate from the parents, right? Well, remember that giving up one's fate to the parents is rather radical itself, as is the amount of change that has to occur that has to occur under Amicus. I don't think Amicus is all that radical. I think I need glasses. God. <laughs> Should I, should we look and see if there's if this this game has no okay this game does not have open dyslexic. Well, it's not that. It's just it's it's a it's at this distance it's a, just a little a little on the blurry side. Just a little a little fuzzy in the text and I can't read correctly. Oh, okay. Are you sure it's that or are you just tired? <laughs> well, it is kind of late, so. That's a late for you. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's fine. <laughs> Oh, by Wolven standards, he is. Trust me. So it's all culminated in this. Nephew pauses with a look of surprise that's almost comical. I look around in confusion. Then his expression turns to one of anger. What? The jackal puts a finger to his lips as he as he stands, then just walks off to the uh, forest next to us. I listen to the crackling of branches before it goes mostly silent. I look around again, uh, suddenly feeling vulnerable. I actually start to wonder if these separatists are infiltrating the palace right now, and that's why Nefidu wanted to talk to me, but yeah, talk to me so badly. That's what that says. But then I hear a howl, yowl, 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 uh, that makes me leap to my feet, a heart pounding, and not sure if Nefidu could have possibly made a sound like that. But then I see what it is. Nefidu roll, comes rolling out of the forest 20 feet ahead of me, entangled with something that looks very familiar. Oh shit, I knew it. I goddamn knew it. This little he's, narc. He's still skulking about. He really is just he's being a still skulky just a little a... bit. He's just a little turd monkey. Look at this guy. This This man is hilarious. He's pretty funny. I think like... Well, it's funny how not menacing he is. I feel like this character should be menacing because he's like the heel turn character, right? He's he, like the, he he's is. like a secret antagonist, but you can't take him seriously because he's a bottom ass twink. He's a limp noodle. Of, well, I mean, he's not a limp noodle narratively. Like he's the 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 heel turn, but also like 
you wanted to smack the shit out of him from the start. Yeah. So it's not like nothing's changed. Oh, wow. The little piece of shit is a narc. Okay. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Nothing the has changed. The world refused to change. <laughs> Release me, sand dog. What's the matter, Alex? We were doing this not so long ago, and, it, and you very much enjoyed it. We are known for our acting abilities, as you know. I see. Yes, but you are a terrible actor. You never can resist manhandling me, you brute. Don't make it so easy. <laughs> the tables have turned. Remember when you couldn't keep your paws off me? Yes, well... Perhaps I mistook you for uh, being uh, better endowed. Did Kato kick you so hard that you shrunk somehow? I like this exchange. This is funny. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Nefidu suddenly lets Alex go, letting him face plant right into the sand. The water is simply cold, Alex. A likely excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching the whole exchange with my mouth slightly open. I haven't seen Alex in months. Not only that, but the interaction between the two of them is definitely weird. Is it? Uh, like they're both uh, used to doing it and liking it? Yeah. And Nefidu collects his breath first from their little tussling, ma tussling match? Mm -hmm. Tussling match. N no. And uh, narrows his eyes down at Alex. Alex really gets around, huh? Oh, he's slept with everyone at this palace. He's probably slept with and, Amicus, and Amicus doesn't even know it. Right? He probably fucks Felix every other weekend. Yeah. You know, best like, boy Felix. He, he goes in for a checkup. Yeah. He goes He goes in for a <laughs> weekly prostate exam. <laughs> yep, still there. Still makes you nut. Good job. <laughs> Keep up with the good work, champ. <laughs> Keep doing your keggles. It's fine. <laughs> Enough stalling for Enough stalling for time, Alex. Why are you still spying on us even when your cover has been blown and you have no communication with your home moon? First of all, we were here first. I should be suspicious that you've come to spy on me. Cassius is here. I look around, not sure if I'm actually wanting to see the wolf or not. Our relationship is definitely complicated after everything that has happened. Alex seems to notice me for the first time. <clears throat> oh, Marco, you're here. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Uh, you're here with the jackal. Uh, how are you? But how are you? This, uh, Alex, don't. I guess I sound uh, fed up enough, and Alex cuts his usual spit spiel. Yep. Spiel. Yep. That's the word. Spiel. His usual spiel. Spiel. Sure. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm rude. I take a step forward, and Alex stiffens up. Oh, I just want to smack the shit out of him. This is suddenly so the uh, this is suddenly the best exchange like, ever in this. <laughs> the whole game. We're never gonna get better than this. <laughs> you know, if we had a game and this was the main trio, like that Marco, Nefidu, so and, and Alex, that'd be wacky. <laughs> Oh and there God. and there's no romantic tension. Yeah. There's sexual tension, but not romantic mm -hmm. tension. <laughs> it's just all like we're 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 goofy. I mean, just give us like echo hijinks of of goofy sexy times with a little bit of spooks and we'll be good. Right? Uh Nephew quickly uh, takes b steps between us. So, Cassius, that is none of your business, Jackal. I'd say after yeah, I'd say after the way you, uh, yeah, the way you two have treated me, that uh, Alex, uh, get me that damn vine antenna thing. I'm tired of holding this. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, Alex makes such an intense, a uh, feelnoid hissing sound that if I could, I'd lower my ears. Uh, it's uh, silent for a moment. Uh, then there's some shifting around from the, uh, from deep within the thicket of trees. Okay. Everything all right, Alex? Cassie's tone of concern quickly transitions into one of his usual ir irritation. Hmm. Because if I end up uh, fracturing something over this, I'd best hope cat medicine is as truly advanced as they say. 
Cassius, we've got visitors. From Amorpha? It did work. By fucking Galen. Get out here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alex talking to him like this? What the fuck? I like to think this is probably how they talk in the bedroom. It's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, sure, Alex is a bottom. But Cassius is way more of a it's bottom. Just, you know, it's just, it's just two bottoms. It's two bottoms. But see, so if you put two bottoms together and one of them's a bratty bottom, <laughs> then they're, they're by default the bottom is the bottom. <laughs> you can't get more bottom than a bratty bottom. Right. Like, like you really can't. A few more um, indignant uh, yelps from Cassius later, and the white wolf appears, stumbling out next to Alex and Nefidu. Don't snap at me. You dismiss, uh, yeah, diminish uh, my standing every time you do it. He focuses on us, barely reacting. Oh, it's you two. Hello, Marco. Uh, he looks Nefidu up and down. I see that the jackal wishes to make us all uncomfortable with his unsightly privates. Congratulations, jackal. Your ploy has worked. <laughs> I like them. I like their portraits standing back to back. I think it looks really good. You just need to put like a like a rap title underneath them and like change the background. <laughs> oh Maybe God. put sunglasses on them and you'll be set. What you can also just put like a versus and they they they're yeah, in a but, match, yeah, right? Yeah, they're a boxing match. <laughs> I would bet a hundred percent on Nefidu. <laughs> what were the two of you just talking about? Just now, I'm simply tired of Alex screeching at me like I am his pet, especially as we're about to depart on this very public tour. I shake my head. I had no idea these assholes were coming with us, but <laughs> uh, the uh, possible espionage... Mm -mm. No, I think that's right. No, that's incorrect. I, I think that's correct. I'd say you're very wrong. Uh, it takes precedence. Hold on a second. Are you building an amorphin communication device? I uh, don't know how. I don't know much about amorpha or its technology, but antenna made made out of vine, vine sounds like the plant tech amorphas have mastered. Oh, that yes, yes indeed. Do you have an interest in such technology, Marco? What? No. Why the hell are you building it? This definitely goes against the rules that you agreed to to stay here, Alex. Cassius looks around, seemingly confused. What? This isn't the his project. I am simply fascinated with electronic foliage, and am learning the basics. By building it on this island where Alex has his had his last communication device, you can't be that dumb, Cassius. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Calm yourself, Cassius. They have no appreciation for amorphin technology. Chemians have such intense superiority complexes. Why are, why are we bringing this uh, prick with us? That's just insane. Enough. Just because you are the Emperor's pet. Boyfriend? Uh, Cassius shudders violently. <laughs> A pet, as I was saying, does not mean you can say whatever you like to me or my pet. Good day to you both. <laughs> Nefidu and I watched them walk down the length of the beach, then get into a sightseer I hadn't seen before. Um, behind a bend of trees. Well, I suppose I will have to speak to Amicus about this. Same. Even more to worry about on our little trip. I don't get why they're coming. Cassius is still a popular force in Adastrian politics. It's all politics, just as I am being brought along to represent the sought-after alliance. I sigh, sitting under some shade. Then what am I? Meat. Well, I think Amicus is more fond of you than the rest of us, but otherwise most Adastrians have, haven't seen a human in person. Might as well get them used to it before your species, before your species entry into the Galaxia. Anyway, I must head back so that I can prepare for, prepare an appointment with Virginia. She must know about the ongoing dangers of Alex as well. To cut our conversation short, just remember that this tour is not all leisure. This is a great deal of danger when it comes to these separatists. 
they would die for their cause, just as most of us would. Roger, roger. <laughs> All right. I want to meet one, and I want them to say that. <laughs> they have to. If their commander says something, they go, roger, roger. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Though, do not allow you... Though, do allow yourself to have fun, just with caution. I'll head back now and send a sightseer. Don't think about swimming back without one. I'll do what I want. I nod and Nefidu heads off, still naked, though back to his old self at least. Why would he why would him why would he change to being not naked in the in He didn't run out here with like a robe. No. Why would he swim back with a robe? <laughs> Get out to the island, puts on a robe, <laughs> and then swims he back. He just pulls out a trunk. He just like, oh my my spare yeah. robes that I just keep it's my, here. It's my dead drop of robes, you yeah, know. You Always know. ready. Absolutely. <laughs> As I wait for the sightseer, I lay back in the cool shaded sand and fall asleep. Oh. Just falls asleep, right? No, whatever. But, well, <laughs> <laughs> here he is. Okay. <laughs> Awaken. I wake up with a, a jump, a yelping around, yeah, yelping under Amicus's furry form before he starts kissing me, his paw sliding up and down my body. I let him down for just uh, for a few seconds before pushing him off. Amicus, what the hell? Oh no, you're not lecturing me, especially especially not after you apparently swam here without a sightseer. I wince, uh, silently uh, cursing Nefidu for not being able to keep his mouth shut. What did you expect? Well, they can just remote control, like, just tell the sightseer to get- it doesn't need a pilot. I know. But, like, of course, of course, uh, Nefidu was going to tell Amicus that Marco was being unsafe. Oh Whoa. my god. And falling asleep under a scant shade? Marco, have you forgotten how badly you burned two months back? How could I forget? Amicus was horrified by the uh, prospect uh, that he questioned how humans survived with so few natural defenses. I guess it's as good as mine. I'm becoming more concerned about you every day. I rub my eyes as Amicus lets, uh, helps me to my feet. I was waiting for a sightseer. It's here, and good thing too. Our guide for the tour has arrived. Who? Amicus waves his paw dismissively. One of the bear siblings. He's weird like they always are, so I'll keep your interaction short. What? Oh, we get a bear. A little bear. A little bear? He's a bear, okay. I frown. I think I can decide that for myself. Yes, yes, of course. Now, let's be on our way. Amicus lets me into a... Yeah, lifts me into a bridal carry so that I don't burn my feet on the sand. You were not waiting for me. I said at the 11th hour, you know. You're always late. How could I be late on a day like this? I cling to my fiancé, uh, listening to his uh, deep voice rumble through his chest. Have you packed your essentials? <laughs> Don't worry, I have not either. <laughs> Let us prepare for our journey together, Marco. I hope you're excited, because I have much planned for just the two of us. On our way to the sightseer, I look back at the forest, and it's uh, then that I remember what happened before I'd fallen asleep. Wait, did you know that Cass and Alex are coming? Ah, uh, yes. That was a bit of a last-minute addition to the plan. I did not know if Cassius' schedule would be free when we departed, and it turns out it was. I mean, that's fine, but I just think it's weird that we're bringing along the guys who tried to kill everyone. <laughs> I'm uh, kind of exaggerating, but Alex's potent partially successful plan to destabilize Adastra is one of the main reasons our life here was so difficult. Wait a moment. How did you find out? I booked them a suite in the city. They are to meet us with uh meet us at the meet with us at the university. Knife round. Nefidu uh, told you about me swimming to the island, but not how we caught Alex building a communication device again. No. Man, nephew has got weird priorities these days. <laughs> Wait, what is this about Alex building a communication device? Well, we overheard Cassius talking about building a plant tech device, and Alex built one here last uh, last time because the signals were 
uh, out of range for interception, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, that little shit. I... That was a fun portrait. I don't think we've seen that one before. <laughs> well, these are all new portraits, though. Well, yeah, but like... He had one, like, kind of... Well, he had one similar in the base game. He had, like, a... Yeah, yeah he was like... But this like... one, he's, like, squatting, and he's all, like, wide. It's great. That's really good. It's like he's uh, deeply pondering something. I may actually have to kill him. Good, good, though. Amicus continues walking toward the sightseer, though his jovial mood from earlier is completely gone. I can't believe he'd make me do this after I gave him an undeserved second chance at life. Wait, are you serious? You're going to execute him? Suddenly the idea that Alex's actions could actually lead to deadly consequences is, well, disturbing. Not really. <laughs> I would It would make sense, but I just can't imagine him being off like that, with Amicus being the one responsible for it. But then Amicus sighs again. No, I probably should. I know my father would have, and as Emperor, I'm obligated to seek justice for my people. Which would be the end of that cat and any relation with Amorpha. But I am shifting our diplomacy toward a more... Chemian style. And executing diplomats, no matter how justified, is simply not how it is done. That's a cute little blushy thing that he's doing. Relations with the cats is already strained as it is. I think you should just deport him. (laughs) Oh, I would. You know that. But it's all the more complicated with Cassius in the mix. You just don't tell Cassius. Yeah, ship him off in secret. Right? Amicus finally uh, lowers into the sightseer, and we begin to float across the lake. So I thought he was doing social work in the um, poorer towns and cities. We managed to sync our schedules in Lux, so he will be accompanying us for just the first part of our journey. He is still popular in Lux, so the visual of him by my side could be rather advantageous. After that, we will part ways. So how is Alex going to fit into all this? Uh, Doesn't the public know what he did? Cass says that emphasizing that Alex is his pet will play into the narrative that the saboteur was conquered. I thought they had gotten rid of the uh, the pet system. Just another decree being held back by Cass's antics. It will be abolished as soon as that damn cat is out of the way. Perhaps I should just rid us of the problem and surprise Lux with a public execution. They still enjoy such a spectacle in that region, you know. I think I'm starting to see why Nefidu didn't tell Amicus about ne- uh, about Alex. <laughs> I think the uh, I try to shift the conversation to a lighter tone, though. I don't think you'd execute him, even if you weren't uh, changing the diplomatic system by Ad- of Adastra. Oh, are you implying that I'm soft? Well, I just think that you remember when Alex was your friend, and that stay, and that stays your hand. Besides, I poke him in the stomach. You are soft. <laughs> he grunts and seems a, and seems about to say something, but then awkwardly looks away at the pla- the palace. You all right? I am. Um... Then he takes a breath, like he always does, before talking about something that's bothering him. Speaking of pets, remember that your role has changed, and you should consider yourself to be an equal amongst the siblings. Okay. I narrow my eyes, not sure exactly where this is going. Optics are a very large part of politics, and perhaps you should consider carrying yourself in a more formal way compared to when we are in private. I mull that over for a moment, then feel my face get a little hot as I realize that Amicus is telling me not to embarrass him with the uh, PDA. I instinctively uh, want to become defensive, to tell Amicus that this is just another one of his issues, but... No, this really is an important part of politics. It's an important part of life, actually. I can't just haphazardly plant kisses and rub Amicus's body in public like that. Sure you can. Just suck his dick in the square. No one's going to care. <laughs> hey, some people might just yeah. be like, <laughs> and, and crank the hog to it, you know? Amazing. As they say. 
Uh, I mean, I think I already uh, would have. I would have known this, but it's an odd thing to hear Amicus say it. I clear my throat, hoping I don't look as red as I feel. Oh, yeah, of course. I remember my formal stance. I clasp my hands in front of me. When we arrive at our Imperial Villas, it will be different. You can do whatever you'd like to me, then. Yeah, definitely. My failure to banter back like usual isn't lost on Amicus, and the silence becomes awkward, something that doesn't happen very often these days. I'm not sure why I feel so deflated. I suppose it, it could be because I didn't really process the fact until now that this could be a glimpse into my future life with Amicus. Lots of formalities. I had accepted this fact months ago, along with the fact that it's very likely that I'd never feel, uh, yeah, feel at home. Both on Adastra and on Earth. I'm sorry if I said something foolish again. It's just that with politics, you must think of both. No, no, you're fine. It's a time and place sort of thing. It's just, well, I hope I'm able to do things right and that I uh, don't screw up and embarrass you. Uh, yeah, embarrass you somehow. Marco, if you manage to... Aw. 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 I tried so hard to stuff that Aww. yawn down. I tried so hard. It didn't work. Marco, if you manage to embarrass me half as much as I embarrass myself... I will be genuinely impressed. I think Amicus is underestimating my abilities. Well, I'd like to not embarrass you at all. You already have enough to worry about without me causing problems with stuff like optics. I honestly should probably stay in the villa until you finish all of your important stuff. I'm genuinely trying to offer a realistic solution, but I can't help but feel that it's coming off as bitter. Amicus clearly thinks the same. Listen, we didn't go to hell and back only for you to then be hidden away like a bad secret. You are important, and not only to me, but all of Adastra. Public... Gaffes? Are not enough to change Gaffes. Gaffes? Gaffes. Oh. You can go for it. I just want to look up the word, because I don't know it. Mm-hmm. You didn't finish the sentence. Yeah, I did. Are not enough to change that. I said that. We finally reached uh, the uh, shore at the moment, and Amicus uh, helps me out of the craft. Okay, it's just gaff. Gaff. Plural, gaffs. An unintentional act or remark causing embarrassment to its originator. A blunder. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I've never heard that word before. Yeah. That's kind of cool. But we'll end the part here. Okie dokie. So we will see you around, everyone. <laughs>